Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Len and Kathy. We're so glad that you are with us on today's program because Kathy and I are going to be talking about what we call the Red Letter Highway. Now, what does that mean? That's the things that Jesus said, recorded in the Bible, and everything he said you see uh, printed with red ink. There's red ink, of course, all <laughs> over the Gospels and so forth. It's just really wonderful to see what Jesus himself, God the Son, said about how we can live our life. And did you know that if you follow that red letter highway, like we're going to start doing on this broadcast today, you're going to find out some things that you thought maybe were not so possible are possible in your life. It is so good to be studying this together, darling. I love it because it's, of course, my favorite subject, faith. Faith. And we're going to look at the things, Lynn, that Jesus said about faith. And hold on to your hat because they are spectacular. Is this the uh, almost too good to be true gospel that you're talking about? Absolutely. Why, why don't people, I'm going to put the psychologist Kathy Mink on the stand here for a minute. <laughs> why don't people seem to believe this over and above? almost sounds too good to be true gospel. What do they think it, that God doesn't tell the truth or something? Why is no, that in people, Dr. Kathy? I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's it, Lynn. I think that you already hit it when you said too good to be true. Some of the things we're going to look at today that Jesus said boldly when he was on the earth, they sound so great that people, one, are afraid they're too good to be true. Two, in order to believe them, which it's all based on one word, believe. Mm. So in order to believe it, despite what's going on around you and what looks to the contrary, you have to be built up by the word itself to have the faith to believe the promises. So, so let me get this right. The, the faith to believe the promise is downloaded already into the promise? It really is. It, it, there's supernatural embedding, if you want to call it mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all kinds of things. We understand the word embedded today more than they mm -hmm, did years mm -hmm. ago. Download, embed. Yes. Yep. Because of all the internet and all the stuff going on. But there is literally faith embedded in the promises of God. And when you read them, when you speak them, when you listen to them, something, a substance called faith mm. just comes. You know, the scripture in Romans, it says, um, faith cometh by hearing mm -hmm. and hearing by the word of God. There's two hearings there. There ought to be about 15. <laughs> faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing. But here's the supernatural part. If you will hear the word of God, either by you speaking it or your pastor speaking it or us speaking it today, and you read it and listen and speak it, then the supernatural part takes place. Faith just comes into you. And all of a sudden, Lynn, you find it easy to believe what Jesus said. Now, let's, let's go from a quantum physics perspective on the Word of God for just a second. Are you saying that uh, the supernatural power that we need to live an overcoming, victorious life is found in the Word of God because the Word of God is embedded with Hold on to your chair. Divine frequencies. Yes. Because that's really what, uh, see, a word, it, even if it's, hey, just a short word like that, is embedded, the sound is embedded with content. Words are containers that carry something inside of them. Now, if you looked at it from a medical perspective, a biomedical perspective, you could say that these words carry the DNA of God within them. And whenever you load them in your mouth and shoot them and discharge them into your life or into a situation, 
the DNA of God is coming forth through you out into that situation. The uh, divine frequencies, the same frequencies that built the worlds, the let there be, Genesis 1, creative miracle frequencies are downloaded and we can load them in our sound cannon called our mouth that's hooked on to our spirit man and our mind and they come together, our spirit and our mind. The spirit gives the substance. The mind gives the delivering power. So it's understood by people uh, in whatever language and dialect and so forth you speak. And that causes change. That's right. Faith it can, it causes, can change anything, Lynn. I mean, one word, we've heard it so often, one word from God can change your life forever. One word. One song from God containing the life of God can change your life forever. Uh, our dear friend Jesse Duplantis, whom most all of you know uh, from his television and his ministry from all over the world, wonderful friend of the, of the gospel and a friend of Lenny Kathy's, amen. Yes. Uh, he was watching, he was a rock and roll drug addict and he was in a Holiday Inn one time in the middle of the night uh, absolutely stoned out of his mind, got bored, flipped on the television set, and Billy Graham was speaking the Word of God, and he happened to be on that all-familiar scripture for John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes, whosoever believes in Him shall not perish or doesn't have to go off into eternity without God, but instead have everlasting life. Jesse dropped his uh, bottle of uh, liquor that he was drinking, and he got down on his knees and he prayed with Billy Graham and gave his heart to Jesus. And look at what a powerful, powerful ministry that is around the world today. So, Kathy, yeah. these, these words from heaven, these, these heavenly words, especially the ones printed in red in our Bible, are divine connections for us to connect our need to the need meter Himself. God the Father, through God the Son, by the power of God the Holy Spirit, who lives in the earth, in you if you'll let Him, right now. Well, look at Jesse for an example of people being born again. Jesse spoke one or two sentences and said, Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. Come into my heart, forgive me of my sins. And just like that, he was born again. Mm -hmm. Those few words changed his life forever, put his name on the rolls of heaven for eternity, and started him on a whole new course of life, free of drugs, free of alcohol, uh, free of that lifestyle, and preaching the gospel. Mm. That's how powerful words are. Well, if our words, you, me, Jesse, the, the viewers, if our words are that powerful that we can determine where we spend eternity with one or two sentences, think how powerful the words in red are wow. that the Son of God spoke while He was on the earth, I might wow, add. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. And God creating the worlds, let's look at that for a split second, just to give, give you another triangulation, another reference point to uh, get what we're saying. When God spoke the creative words of uh, birthing the earth uh, into existence, everything came to pass by speaking, and many people think, including yours truly, singing words into that void, into that roiling, muddy mass that was out here that we now have this beautiful, pristine, gorgeous earth. And uh, that wasn't that way until the words were spoken. So words especially, I'll just kind of slip this in because I'm a worship leader and a psalmist and a singer, you know, and all of that. I just am so grateful to the Lord for that because God s spoke and sang everything into existence. And you know, it never stopped creating. Let's just get scientific for a second. It's never stopped creating. 
those let there be light words are continuing to create worlds way out there, trillions of light years away because they never stopped. They, they're going at 186,000 miles per second. And the uh, astronomers and the physicists are saying that it's actually picking up speed as it expands outward into nothingness and nothing becomes something when the words go forth. Amen. That's right. It's so interesting and exciting. It is. It is. Well, Our words are important. Yes. Well, get your Bible. Uh, if you're somewhere you can grab your Bible, get it. And let's look at our first scripture. Let's look at John 14, verses 13 and 14. And John 14, 13 and 14 is in red. And Jesus <laughs> said this, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Wow. What a statement. What a statement. Let's just admit that most of the born again church doesn't believe this scripture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it is so awesome. It is just over but the top. But it isn't too good to be true. No. And we're going to build our faith till we believe this. And many of you out there have many prayers that are unanswered. Lynn, unanswered prayer is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be that way. We can have an answer to every prayer. Amen. And that's our goal. So if we build ourselves up on what Jesus said in these wonderful scriptures, you can get the answer to that prayer that you've given up on. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Wow. Whatsoever covers everything, doesn't it? Whatsoever that's good. Right. Now we know that. We're not talking about kooky things, yeah. asking for drugs and alcohol, nothing like that. We know nothing, that. Nothing having to do with death, but everything no, that's to, to do, do with life. Yes. But whatsoever, he said, Lynn, mm. whatsoever ye will ask in my name, in the name of Jesus, he'll do it. And he gave the reason for doing it that his father, that God the Father would be glorified in the Son. That desire mm. Jesus has for his father to be glorified. Mm. So because of that, he wants the Lord, the Father God to get the glory and he's just deflecting the glory to him. Exactly. And giving us the right to use his name. And then he goes on with the second one, if you shall ask anything, in my name, I will do it. Praise mm, God. Wow. Glory wow, to wow, God. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we want you to fasten your seatbelt and get ready for more of this wonderful revelation. But as we prepare for that, let me tell you about some special things that TCT has available. Two of uh, my CDs of hymns of the church. You know, you just look online and see what's going on with music in the world, in the Christian world of music particularly, and hymns are trending big time. And I mean, it's wonderful to see the deep doctrine and truth of these hymns coming forth. And we have two things that we want you to be aware of. Uh, my hymn CD called How Great Thou Art, and then one called Redemption. I did this one with a full orchestra. You will not be the same after you hear this. And we want you to partner with us here at TCT. And when you do, these will be available to you. Now, here's something you need to listen to to give you the details on how to get these wonderful CDs of your favorite hymns. Kathy, we have two wonderful CDs that are our love gifts to our partners, and they're How Great Thou Art yes. and Redemption. Talk about How Great Thou Art. How Great Thou Art is with a keyboard and lens vocal, and it has all the favorite hymns of the church. Are there 14 or 15? 15 of them 15 on that one, yes. 15 beautiful hymns. And Redemption is done with a full orchestra, a symphony orchestra, 
even with Stradivarius violins, wonderful hymns collections that you need in your library. So we're real thrilled for you to have those. The two hymn CDs will be a blessing. Enjoy these beautiful symphony classics. Call now at 866-338-5033 or contact us at P.O. Box 308, Heron, Illinois 62948. Thank you so much for supporting TCT and being our partners around the world, our arms locked together to, 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 to bring people into the kingdom of God, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. Not to be religious, but to preach good news to them that really works in marriage, really works in parenting, really works in healing and in finances and just every area of life. So once again, we thank God for our wonderful partners. Thank you. Kathy, we are talking about one of the most exciting things in the Word of God, and uh, we're talking about the things that are in red in your Bible and our Bible. So yes. we're talking about faith and how important it is in red letters. Yes. It's time to expand our view, Lynn, of what God can do. He wants our lives to be in peace, in joy. He wants us to be blessed and he wants to give us the victory to the challenges that he knows we have walking through this earth. So we're starting with John 14, um, 13 and 14. Now I have this great parallel Bible. It's, it's really well worn. <laughs> and it has some miles on it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. And it's a hardback and it's kind of pink, so it kind of goes with our flowers. It does. But it's a hardback, so it's made it all these years. Mm -hmm. But it's got the King James, the Amplified, the New Living. No, the, the regular living. There is a new living. Right. In it. Uh, and we'll get to that. And the Revised Standard. Well, that's good. It's a and good combination. I, yeah. I want to read these same scriptures in some of these other translations. So uh, remember that the King James said, Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, the Amplified says, let's see. It's got so many words, you've got to, okay. He said, and I will do, I myself will grant mm. whatever you may ask in my name, presenting all I am. He's calling himself here the I am. Oh, I love that. What does that mean, I am? It means I am what you need in every and any situation. That's right. Whatever you need, I am. <laughs> so that the Father may be glorified and extolled in and through the Son. Yes, I will grant will do for you, Lynn, whatever ye shall ask in my name, presenting all that I am. Wow. Now, here's the living. You can ask him anything in my name. You can ask the Father. And see, this is, you know, we've got this book that God gave us. Follow the instructions in the book if you want results. And yes. faith is for results. You know how different ministers lend Brother Copeland and Brother Savell and, and we've started doing it. They get a certain phrase or word from the Lord yes. for, uh, for each year. Mm -hmm. Well, for this year, I got results. Mm. Just one word. You could put that any year, couldn't you? You could yes. add that to any year yes. you're living right now. Results. Because faith mm -hmm. is for results. So let me read this in the living. You can ask him, the Father, <clears throat> for anything using my name, and I will do it. For this will bring, bring praise to the Father because of what I, the Son, will do for you Yes, ask anything using my name, and I will do it. Whew. If we just wow. had those two scriptures, Lynn, my word. Okay, I'm going on to the Revised Standard. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty close. Um, and this, right before this, this is talking about the greater works. He says greater works. 
That's another thing to wrap our minds around. That we would do greater works than he did while on the earth. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I go to my Father. Wow. Then, he says, the two we're looking at, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Now, the Phillips is the same, but I'm going to uh, read the New Living, the New Living version here of those scriptures. You can ask for anything in my name, I will do it, so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. Yes, ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. Now, here's the message. From now on, whatever you request along the lines of what I'm doing, so it's got to be something good, it's going to be beneficial, I'll do it. That's how the Father will be seen for who He is. And that's the message translation you just read? Yes, in we the Son. He's not through yet. Wow. I mean it, whatever <laughs> you request in my name, I'll do. I love it when God says, are you listening to me? <laughs> How about when he said, I mean it? I mean it. You could almost see him hitting the desk going, I mean it. Oh, this is so good. I mean, so good. This is uh, life changing, Kathy, because people yeah. don't really realize how much the Lord wants to fellowship you with his abundance, with his joy. Uh, I know life has things that are difficult and they're thrown at all of us. So it's the choices you make on dealing with all that stuff that are, that's thrown at you that, that, you know, you discover the greatness of God in one of those situations. Or if you leave these promises uh, and put them on the shelf, you discover uh, the sharp edge of trying to live a life without God's input. So let's use God's input. Let's use God's uh, word, the supernatural word as our absolute reference point to everything. And don't give up. Don't give up. Say you're just starting in this. Then especially don't give up. And don't compare yourself to other people and the success level that they might have in a certain area. Just take that word and start walking it out. Start walking it out. You know what I love about this too, Lynn? He didn't say if you get a group together and you pray hard enough and you cry long enough and you beg long enough, maybe you'll get something. Well, just preach on it, that for about a minute. <laughs> it's between you and the Lord. You can be alone. You can be a widow. You can be uh, living alone. You can feel lonely. But the Lord says you and he are enough. So, with the name of Jesus. So you're saying we can write our own ticket with God? You really can. I want you to pull, I wow. want the people to pull out the prayers they've been discouraged on. Now, this, we're just scratching the surface. That's just the first scriptures in red. But pull out the prayers that you've given up on, that you've been discouraged on. Dust them off, read this scripture, speak it, and say, this is for me. I'm taking you up on this, Jesus. This is for me. Now, this is what I'm asking you for. So the Father will be glorified in your name. It doesn't matter. Physically, financially, Lynn, mm -hmm. um, could be anything. Could your be children. children. Yep, we said it at the same time. <laughs> whatever, whatever your needs are, because for years, every church we've ministered in, the Lord has told me, please tell them that they're not asking for enough. Mm. Isn't that music to your ears? The Lord saying, you're not asking for enough. Cut loose. He said, whatsoever, whatsoever is good. Mm -hmm. Ask in my name and I will do it. We want to give glory to the Father. We are created to give him glory to give him pleasure, to give him fellowship, and to give him glory. So this is our chance, Lynn, Amen. to give the Lord glory and get our prayers answered. Amen. Amen. Let's hold hands, and I'm going to ask you to pray for the people that are watching Lynn and Kathy right now, and uh, we're going to watch God change some lives. 
Join us in prayer as we take the last couple of minutes of the program to pray. Father, we ask you to bless the viewers. I believe faith has risen in their hearts just on the different translations of your words in red. Lift them, encourage them, let them rise up today, Father, to glorify you and get those unanswered prayers answered. Yes. Nothing's too hard. Nothing's impossible. Thank you, Lord. So go for it today. Thank you, Lord. And if you don't know Jesus as your Savior, you start with that one and you invite him into your heart today and say, Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. Come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Give me a fresh start today. Everybody's looking for a fresh start. Just ask him for that. Cleansing of your sins, he forgives them, he wipes them out, and you have a fresh start. Where can you get that in this day and age? Only from the Lord Jesus Christ. So step out, do it, and then let us know that you did. Call the prayer partners. There the number uh, it comes up on the screen. Call them and let us know that you prayed that prayer, that you're born again, and that you have a fresh start today. Glory to God. And now we want you to go to our Facebook page, Len and Kathy Mink, and go to TCT's Facebook page and join us as friends because we put scriptures on there and you know what's going on and you can find out everything that will benefit you. And we, we love you. We appreciate you watching today and we'll see you next time on Len and Kathy.